Welcome back to the channel fam. This is episode 2 of our Chicago series. In this episode we will be exploring the city some more. Drop a comment and let us know what you love about Chicago. Let's kick start this episode with the most important meal of the day. It's time for us to have some breakfast and we are at the Wildberry Pancakes and Cafe. But look at the line behind me. Man, this food better be good. But we'll let you guys know. What are we saying? Ooh. Is it good, babe? Babe. Fire. So I couldn't handle the pancakes, so I, of course I have to pass it on. French toast. Of course. They're, they're known for the pancakes, but better French toast. Woo! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we just made it out of the Wildberry Pancakes and Cafe. Ah. <laughs> The belly is feeling good. <laughs> What's the rating out of so, 10? Overall, the rating, I would say a 12 out of 10. My rating is an 8. Yours are 8? Yes. All right, guess why? Now, if you're coming to the cafe, you got to order your stuff in a certain order. So they're known for pancakes, but the French toast is better. Yeah. So... If you're gonna order boat stuff, make sure you try the pancake before the French toast. Because if you try the French toast first, yeah, it's gonna mess your mouth up. Yeah, but it's for me, yes. my French toast, fantastic, is a twelve, fantastic. Yeah. So guys, currently we are in Millennium Park and one thing that draws millions of tourists to the city each year is inside this park and we're talking about the Cloud Gate aka the Bead. So currently there's construction going on around the Bead. So it's currently closed, but it should be opening in summer this year, 2024. So if you're in the city of Chicago, make sure you come and see the beam. It's like the number one attraction in the city that draws millions of tourists. But inside Millennium Park, there are other stuff that you can do. So behind me is a theater in the middle of the park where they keep a lot of concerts. So guys, if you're in the city, this is another top thing that you can try. Now 
Now, Chicago is known to have a lot of firsts in a lot of things. And one of the first Nutella Cafe was in Chicago. Now, it's early in the morning and look at the line at the cafe. So if you're coming to downtown Chicago, you gotta get out of you gotta get out of your bed real early if you wanna see a lot of these places. So we're not gonna join the line. So we won't know what the Nutella tastes like, but when we do, we'll let you guys know. The Museum of Ice Cream is another spot you could um, explore. I'll definitely put the admission costs down below. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of things around the city of Chicago that you can explore for all different age group and there is a lot of green spaces around the city for sure so if you just want to chill on a nice day a nice nice cool day like today then definitely you can do that in the city like any big city around the world you'll definitely find a lot of street performers so in New York they got Fifth Avenue but in Chicago we got the Magnificent Mile so on the Magnificent Mile you'll find a lot of designer brands clothing store a lot of luxury hotel, a lot of restaurants. It's uh it's one of the busy the busiest streets in downtown Chicago. You can also admire beautiful architecture um, along the magnificent mile. You can take the water taxi and also the architectural tour of the city. Yes, Chicago is a vibe in the summertime, in the springtime, in the wintertime, in the fall time. What are you waiting on? Book that ticket. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Book that ticket, man. Chicago is a vibe indeed. Is it good? Yeah, not tell all with the uh, vanilla. So do you recommend it? Well, after I try the crepes, but I would definitely recommend the gelato. Oh, you mean my crepes? Our crepes. <laughs> So the question is guys, is Nutella worth the hours of waiting in the line? And my honest opinion, no, it's not worth it. Does it worth a 20 minute wait, a 15 minute wait? Yes, it is. What I will say, the gelato, the vanilla flavor with the Nutella, with the Nutella on the top was amazing. The crepes with the Nutella, Yes, it was good, but does it work the weight? No, I don't think so. But the experience was good. So if you're in the Chicago area, you could definitely 
check out Nutella. If you want to wait for uh, a few hours in line or a few minutes, that will be up to you. Another great place that you can explore when you're in downtown Chicago is Grand Park. It's another green space in the middle of the city, close to the lakefront. And inside of Grand Park is the iconic Buckingham Fountain. In the winter time, the fountain is off. But normally, when it comes to spring, they turn the fountain back on. Come with me as we walk over to the fountain. Now when you come to the fountain in the nighttime, they have a light show where the fountain is lit up uh, with different displays. So we have been here quite a few times, but I must admit, this fountain is beautiful. Waiting on the Greyhound to Chicago Got all my bags packed up, ready to leave. Everybody here is waiting for something. Another must do in the Chicago era is to take a stroll up and down the Michigan Lake. Over on that side is a famous Navy Pier. And we will be going there in one of our episodes in this series. You can also rent uh, bikes around the city and ride up and down this path. It's not too much to go on, but I'm making fine. Better just hang around, yeah. Stop dragging your heart around, baby. Stop. That's it for this episode, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you in another episode somewhere else in Chicago. Stop.